Hey everyone. So Apple just dropped the iPhone 15 Pro at their latest event on September 12th, taking the crown from the iPhone 14 Pro as the go-to 6.1-inch device. There's definitely some buzz about new features on this one. Think USB-C and a fresh, customizable action button. But hold on. If you put them side by side, the iPhone 15 Pro has quite a bit in common with its predecessor, from the display to the camera setup. You're probably asking, is it worth the switch from the iPhone 14 Pro? Don't worry, we're diving deep into both phones to give you the answers. Stay tuned for our in-depth reviews on the iPhone 15 series. All right, folks, let's dive into the details of the iPhone 15 Pro. Announced on September 12th, you can start pre-ordering it on September 15th. It comes with a familiar price tag of $1,000, just like its predecessor. But here's the thing, the base model still sticks with 128 gigabytes of storage. Need more space? You can bump it up to 256 gigabytes, 512 gigabytes, or even a whopping one terabyte, though you'll have to shell out extra for that. Check out the links below for the best deals on both products. Style-wise, it's wrapped in a sleek titanium body, you can pick from natural, blue, white, or the classic black colors. Ready to grab one? Circle September 22nd on your calendar. That's when it hits Apple stores and other retailers. And here's a sweet deal for you. Major cellular carriers are luring with up to $1,000 off if you have an eligible device for trade-in. But a quick note on the iPhone 14 Pro. Apple has taken it off their direct sales shelves. Finding a brand new unlocked iPhone 14 Pro is becoming a challenge, even on sites like Best Buy and Amazon, though carrier locked versions are still around at cellular providers and Best Buy. Some deals are up for grabs, but they aren't quite as tempting as the iPhone 15 Pros. If you've been eyeing the 14 Pro, better act fast because stocks might run out sooner than you think. All right, let's talk design and build for the iPhone 15 Pro. Now, at first glance, it might look pretty similar to the iPhone 14 Pro, but the devil's in the details, folks. Starting with the material, the iPhone 15 Pro boasts a titanium build. What's so cool about titanium? Well, it's as strong as steel, but lighter in weight. That's why the iPhone 15 Pro weighs in at 187 grams compared to the 206 grams of the iPhone 14 Pro. Then there's the action button. Gone is the iconic physical mute switch on the iPhones, replaced by this new customizable button. And for the folks who've been waiting for Apple to switch things up, rejoice! The iPhone 15 Pro comes with a USB-C port saying goodbye to the proprietary lightning connector. Now, looking back at the iPhone 14 Pro, its steel body will make you feel its heft a bit more during day-to-day -day handling. Size-wise, the iPhone 14 Pro is slightly taller and wider, but here's a fun fact, it's actually a smidge thinner by 0.4 millimeters. This does mean if you're planning to upgrade, you'll need a new case since the previous ones won't fit. The iPhone 14 Pro does have its charm, especially if you're a fan of the physical mute switch. But in comparison, the iPhone 15 Pro introduces a few handy updates that refine the overall user experience. Let's shine a light on the display of these iPhones. Both the iPhone 15 Pro and the iPhone 14 Pro sport the same 6.1 inch Super Retina XDR display with an OLED panel. It's the kind of consistency we've come to expect. With ProMotion Tech, the display can refresh at a speedy 120 Hz or it can lay low with an always-on display. Here's a standout feature. It's one of the brightest displays you'll see on mainstream smartphones, peaking at a whopping 2,000 nits hours. Although this feature isn't exclusive to the Pro models anymore, it's definitely a sweet bonus. But let's address the elephant in the room. Some iPhone 14 Pro users have noticed the display dims significantly when the phone gets too hot. A bit of a bummer, to be honest. Looking at the details, both phones serve up a resolution of 2,556 by 1,179, translating to a sharp 460 pixels per inch. One of the quirkiest features has to be the dynamic island. This is Apple's crafty solution to make the front camera and face ID sensors feel less intrusive. While it's innovative, it didn't exactly revolutionize our experience, as some hoped. It can expand and contract for specific system notifications, like low battery alerts, but doesn't cater to all. 
And yes, there are some cool third-party applications for Dynamic Island, like real-time sport scores or tracking an Uber ride. Although it's not a must-have feature to chase, it does add a unique touch to iPhone displays, setting them apart in the smartphone area. All right, gearheads, let's dive deep into the performance and software of these Apple giants. There's a shift in the winds with Apple's approach. They're now reserving chip upgrades for their Pro lineup. The iPhone 14 Pro, with its A16 Bionic chip and 6GB of unified memory, didn't leave users wanting in performance. On the other hand, the iPhone 15 Pro is flexing with its A17 Pro system on a chip which, despite the Pro tag, isn't a different breed from the A16 Bionic. While we'll be giving this chip a thorough run soon, Apple's already hinting at graphics as its standout feature. Software-wise, the iPhone 15 Pro will set sail with iOS 17, Apple's latest software gift to the iPhone universe. But don't worry, 14 Pro users, you won't be left out. The global rollout for compatible devices is on September 18th, so, even though the 15 Pro might get a tad more longevity in software support as of right now, they're on the same page, sharing the goodness of iOS 17 and everything the Apple ecosystem has to offer. But let's talk battery, a subject Apple seems to have sidestepped for the iPhone 15 Pro. Both phones are powered by a 3200 mAh battery. A quick scroll through social media will show you some iPhone 14 Pro users aren't too thrilled with its battery lifespan. My own iPhone 14 Pro, it's down to 88% of its original capacity. So, while the i17 Pro chip promises better efficiency, don't expect a major leap in battery performance. Both phones reportedly offer 23 hours of video playback. And if you're hoping the switch to USB-C might amp up the charging game, well, it doesn't. Both phones max out at 20 watts fast charging. To sum it up, while we see some impressive upgrades in some areas, it feels like a deja vu between the two models. Let's focus our lenses on the camera capabilities of these two behemoths. First things first, if you're anticipating a massive leap in the camera department, temper your expectations. Both the iPhone 15 Pro and its predecessor, the 14 Pro, are sporting identical rear camera setups. That means a triple camera system featuring a 48 megapixel main sensor with an f to 1.78 aperture, flanked by 12 megapixel ultra wide and telephoto lenses with f to 2.2 and f to 2.8 apertures respectively. This setup allows for four optical zoom options, 0.5 times, 1 times, 2 times, and 3 times. But here's where the waters diverge slightly. The iPhone 15 Pro is stepping up its game with enhanced computational photography capabilities. We're talking Smart HDR5 support compared to the 14 Pro Smart HDR4. What this promises is potentially sharper, more dynamic portraits with better focus and depth control, courtesy of the A17 Pro chip housed in the 15 Pro. And speaking of practical perks, the inclusion of a USB port sporting USB 3.0 speeds means you'll be transferring those heavy Apple Pro RAW files to your computer or storage device in a snap. And what about the selfie snapper? Both models feature a 12 megapixel front facing camera with an f to 1.9 aperture. Not much has changed aside from the 15 Pro boasting the latest computational photography features, including yes, you guessed it, smart HDR5, and enhanced portrait mode capabilities. In a nutshell, while the camera specs might read the same, the 15 Pro hints at a computational edge that might just take your photography game to the next level. Stay tuned to see just how much of a difference that A17 chip makes. All right, let's address the elephant in the room. Should you upgrade or not? For those wielding the iPhone 14 Pro, the jump to the 15 Pro might not feel earth-shattering after just one year. And that's perfectly okay. Now, if you're in the market deciding between the 14 Pro and the 15 Pro, the scales tilt more towards the newer kid on the block. The iPhone 15 Pro is essentially flexing with its USB-C and action button, granting you some nifty advantages. Although let's not forget that sleek titanium finish. Not only is it easy on the eyes, but it's also a boon for those who appreciate a lighter touch. What's more enticing? You might even snag the 15 Pro at a more attractive price point than its predecessor if you play your cards right with those trade-in offers. But hold on, the 14 Pro isn't to be dismissed just yet. 
With its top-tier display and camera system, you're not really missing the boat on some of the best smartphone experiences out there. The trusty A16 Bionic chip is no slouch and is all geared up to embrace the iOS 17 in the coming weeks. To sum it up, if you're rocking the 14 Pro, an upgrade isn't urgent unless you're itching for the latest features. For anyone else deciding between the two, the 15 Pro offers the best of the current tech landscape. But remember, the best phone is the one that caters to your needs. So weigh your options and choose wisely. Before you head out, if you found this comparison helpful, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel. It supports what we do and ensures you don't miss out on future insights. Leave a comment below with your thoughts and I'll catch you on the next one.